actually get the game on well and uh well to be honest there's so much to look forward to on this particular day well that was uh uh, well, some great tune uh, coming from um, Yuzi. All right, so big shout out to you, Yuzi, uh, for that one, Hakuna Matata. And um, yeah, it's all about positive vibes right here on 99.3 Nigeria in Thos. We delve into very important talking point this exciting evening. All right, if you're ready, I am solidly ready uh, to drive proceedings this evening. And um, on the board this evening, we've got quite a lot to talk about before we hand over the baton uh, to the Champions League crew led by Samuel Victor Aka. All right, that's a brother. And um, yeah, Champions League action to come much later. But before that, we'll be talking about the Nuga games, of course. And uh, well, some people will say, oh yeah, Nuga. Yeah, Nuga. All right, we're going to be talking about that more regularly um very soon so yeah uh you have to get prepped up for that one so we're going to talk about that and also big news coming from the world of boxing and uh talking about big news yes Tyson fury in the news dillian white also in the news also the mexican open and um well a couple of information you will need coming from the super eagles campus regards the double header uh the FIFA World Cup playoff now, which is belled for March. All right, so we'll talk about that on the show also. And uh, yeah, we'll also preview the Champions League action uh, to go down later tonight. So uh, there's so much to really talk about. If you are ready, we are super ready to take you, uh, well, to the seventh heaven. All right, Anthony, the voice right here on your dial, 99.3 Nigeria Info. And we are ready to get things on the way. It's been a while. I've been off air for a week. Mm. Okay, so I just had to take a little um, rest. <laughs> so I'm back and um, back with all the energy, with all the uh, very positive vibes for you guys. All right. Well, let's get into it. Before that, I've got uh, my brother, my friend joining me on the broadcast. You know him as um, David Okwara. David, how are you doing? What do you know me as? <laughs> I know you as the voice impressionist. Oh, okay, uh, that's flattering. <clears throat> How are you? Not, it's not. It's it's more personal to me, you know. Oh. Given that it um, runs along the same line. Oh. <laughs> But how you doing, man? How's your week going? My my week is going fine. How are you? Mm, very well, thank you. You look different. Different? Yeah. Uh, I know I sound <laughs> smug right now. But it's because I am. It's just, you look different. All right, if you say so, in a good way. Like yeah. your head jutting in all directions. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. Is it? It's, it's, not, it's, it's not it's a bad not. thing. It's like, yeah, uh-huh. You actually look good. Uh-huh. I am very. I'm at pains to compliment <laughs> you. Like, you know, just. It hurts, but you gotta say the truth, bro. All right, let's get no, into it. you're not it. very like him. Ah, oh, come on. Don't say that. You know I am, all right? But you're not. You're not. Okay. You're not. Anyways, we'll come back to when that. Now you inviting me to your house. <laughs> to my house? Yes. Are you a lady? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get the conversation up and running this evening right here on Game On. And we talked about the fact that, yeah, we're going to be starting the show uh, with um, information you can use from the Nuga Games. We're going to be joined in a moment by the Acting National Secretary of um, Nuga, uh, Chidiberi Izani. All right, she'll be joining us in a bit to talk about um, all things Nuga. We are nine days away. Uh, well, for, for those who don't know, it's already started, though, but uh, the preliminaries are what um, already started. But the actual competition are starting nine days' time. Lagos is ready. University of Lagos is ready. The 26th edition of the Nuga Games is here. And, uh, well, it's, it's been a while. I mean, the, the last time was in 2017. But it is back, and uh, well, uh, Governor uh, Song Olu, uh, you know, seems really positive about it. I want to congratulate the management staff and especially the students of Unilag for the bold initiative to host the next Nuga Games. So the games is about it's about you, it's about the students, it's about 
the camaraderie and the unity that sports brings about. It's not just a game, it's a convergence of talent, it's a convergence of future leaders, it's a convergence of the great skills that we have that are bound in all of our universities. And so for University of Lagos hosting this is really around ensuring that the brand and the quality of what the university stands for, you know, is being put to test again. And I know fully well that this competition, outside of it being well organized, it should also be a testimonial for our students, you know, to shine, to collaborate, to compete well, to compete fairly, you know, and to indeed be able to interact with fellow students all across the country. And so we are the well, in case you don't know, this song I'm playing at the moment, We Are The Champions, is the official theme song for Nuga 2022. Uh, well, big shout out to Don Jazzy. He uh, was uh, one of the anchor men in terms of production for this tune, but also it has got uh, the popular Tossing Martins. You remember Olomi? Yeah. He's on this one. Bisola also uh, in the mix. And uh, the new boy uh, from Mavings talking about magics also um, right here. So, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good, right? Sounds really good. All right. You, you can tell. Okay. I am a champion. I am a world winner. All right. Before we uh, get in touch with uh, Chidi Perry, a couple of weeks back, well, two weeks back, uh, well, we did actually have, um, yeah, the touch of unity. Actually, uh, the touch of unity touchdown in Abuja. And the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibajo, was on ground to receive the touch of unity. And this is what it sounded like. I must say that I'm very truly honored to be uh, receiving this torch of unity. And I will especially like to thank the hardworking Vice-Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Olua Toi Ogundipe, and his team for the honor. As a proud alumnus of Unilag, it's heartwarming to see uh, us hosting Nuga again, 24 years after a highly successful and colorful outing in 1998. And I'm more certain that you will bring the capacity for delivering excellence, for which Unilag is well known, to bear on this particular games again this year. Sport has always been a great unifier. Uh, it offers us an opportunity to keep a step outside our sometimes contentious divisions and to embrace uh, one another in support of our teams or in healthy competition and camaraderie. The virtues of discipline, dedication, teamwork, which are indispensable to success in every sporting endeavor, remind us of what it takes to inspire the best in each other and to accomplish great things when we set our minds to the task. As our young men and women from universities across Nigeria gather in Lagos in March, to compete in a range of sporting events, we'll once again get a chance to see the abundance of talent that makes Nigeria such a special country. All right, there you go, the voice of uh, the Vice President. Uh, well, just reacting after receiving the touch of unity. Uh, that was uh, delivered by the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Ogundipe. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see if we've got uh, Chidi on the line. Uh, all right, uh, we'll see if, if we can try back in a moment. We've got some, some bills to pay in the next uh, five minutes. So whichever way... Uh, if we can't connect to her now, when we are back from the break, 
uh, will also do so. We have to speak to her. Uh, she gives us, uh, yeah, um, a very, very well close preview and review, really, of um, how things have gone so far, how preparations are underway, and um, what Nigerians should expect. The Nuga Games have got huge, um, you know, reputation and its importance. Um, as far as the growth of sports in the country is concerned, cannot be uh, uh, underestimated, uh, right? So, yeah, uh, talking about the likes of Olusoji, Fasriba, being great stars. Um, or you did your Olumide. Uh, you can talk about uh, even Vicent Ayama, yes, uh, former goalkeeper of the Super Eagles. All of these guys uh, were product of the Nuga Games. Be your runners, be your fighters, all right, David, uh, before we get to uh, Chidi, also trying to establish connection, well, hopefully we can do that very soon. But uh, what you make of this one? It is, it is massive. Uh, would you believe that the last three editions have been won by guess the university? <laughs> huh? Let me guess, I'm out of Villa University. <laughs> no. <laughs> university, the University of P. 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 Uniport. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, let's see if we've got Chidi. Chidi. Ah, uh, okay, okay. We, we, we have to, we will. All right. Uh, but yeah, University of Port Harcourt have won the that, last. That's, that's, that's. Cool to know. Yeah, I got, yeah. I know the last. I remember when I, I was in school. Um, I believe the very immediate version before I was a student, before I became a student at UNN, was um, hmm. we won it, right? Hmm. So you know, that was the thing. But we went to you didn't do so well. Do so well, I, right? I guess it was poor leadership or something. <laughs> Let all right not, let me not slander this school no 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 please don't uh but uh well don't don't forget it's all about repping your school so yeah uh just um, having to share the whatsapp portal with you um uh, yes and the big question is which school will you be rooting for um university of lagos I know will I'm be rooting hosting. For. uh w- w- well don't forget you know <laughs> schools have to really qualify all right so yeah uh, so, uh, so what are you saying <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying now i don't know if you guys would qualify Hello, Chidi. Oh, God. Are you there? Uh, okay. Um, all right. We'll, we'll see if we can fix that via the break. Um, and um, when we return, we'll surely talk about that. But, well, of course, we talked about it. Uh, the Nuga Games are set to come alive in nine days. Already, there are zone out preliminaries uh, going down across the length and breadth of the country. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be having 15 teams, uh, schools converge in Lagos for that massive, massive tournament, the 26th edition. And Lagos is hosting for the fourth time, the last time since 1998. I must say that I'm very truly honored to be uh, receiving this torch of unity. And I will especially like to thank the hard-working Vice-Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Olua Toi Ogundipe, and his team for the honor. As a proud alumnus of Unilag, it's heartwarming to see uh, us hosting Nuga again, 24 years after a highly successful and colorful outing in, 1990, in 1998. And I'm more certain that you will bring the capacity for delivering excellence, for which Unilag is well known, to bear on this particular games again this year. Sport has always been a great unifier. Uh, it offers us an opportunity to keep a step outside our sometimes content. One step ahead with the latest news and trending conversations here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Don't tell people, are you added weight? Why are you losing weight? Yeah. No, it's it's not your business. That money, the pass is good. That finally, you should be patient.
परसेंट Household free of
and I am Anthony the Voice. Thank you for being patient. All right, we had to do what we had to do. All right, a uh, uh, big shout out to you uh, on the flip side of the radio. And uh, well, let's see if, if we can uh, connect real quick with um, yes, Chidi Berry is on it. Chidi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you so very much for linking up with us. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's a hot evening, but we're <laughs> doing well. All right, all right. So uh, let's let's get straight into the conversation. Uh, we've got. Uh, uh well barely barely four minutes uh to get on with this but yeah i mean the uh, nuga games well for the records uh chidi is the acting national secretary of um, nuga and uh, we're nine days away um from the main tournament right here in lagos university of lagos um hosting that one the 26th edition quickly tell us what should nigerians expect especially from the uh, planning point of view, uh, we know there will be talent on show, surely. But in terms of the organization, what should Nigerians expect? Um, well, they should expect uh, an event filled with glamour because a lot of plan has been put into this one. Usually it takes two years uh, to host the Nuga Games, but this one has taken a lot of time since 2017 due to one issue or the other. Uh, but the games are ready to, you know, blow your mind. And Lagos mm. is a very strategic position or a strategic location to reintroduce and reinvent the Nuga Games, which is what we're after. Mm. All right. Uh, let's let's quickly talk talk about the reward system. Um, uh, what will you know the students be looking at gaining, especially those who will be participating and probably winning? Um, what, I mean, is there something special um, on, on board for them? Well, it's just like when you go to the Olympics, uh, mm. you win the medals, they're yours, and then your school or your country um, decides on what to reward you with. Uh, so I guess this is a very good opportunity to call on Naga Info to probably reward a couple of people for winning medals. Chidi, Chidi. Yeah. I mean, we, we are we are we are supporting via via this uh, call and and coverage. Yeah, we appreciate. It. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I was I was going to ask you about uh, issue of insurance insurance for yeah. the students. Um, what are the plans to insure them in case of injuries? Uh, these are all um, arrangements made from the schools. Now, you have to understand the makeup of uh, Noga Games. Mm. Is, it's just like every university attending the Noga Games is like a country going to the Olympics. Mm. So, uh, the welfare of the athletes, uh, the insurance, the training, yeah. the coaching, the physiology, everything has to do with the um, university that they are representing. Mm. Now, when you talk about uh, security, mm. provision of uh, opportunity to play, and every other thing that is associated with uh, technical or venue or the event themselves, then mm. that you can attribute to the hosting university mm. and NUGA. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the hosting university. Have you been to Unilag? Um, in the last few weeks, um, you and your team to assess uh, the facilities, you know, on ground for this? We were uh, at Unilag over the weekend, uh, mm. last week and over the weekend. Mm. And um, yes, I know there's still a little bit of worry about some facilities uh, mm. that are not ready within the University of Lagos, but that's okay. Because um, the university teached a very fantastic plan B, you know, um, uh, city games, mm. uh, Lagos city games, where, you know, these students coming from far north or the south south or the southeast might actually get an opportunity to experience the city of Lagos. Yeah. Because events will be taken to uh, Testing Balogun Stadium, mm. Roll Park, mm. and other venues around. Uh, the university and in the city of lagos 
so yes, in as much as we would like all the events to be hosted within the university, mm. um, it's also very uh, good. You know, it's, it's a new look kind yeah. of Nuga to yeah. be a CC Nuga. And uh, the vice chancellor of um, Unilag has actually been working his socks off, uh, you know, taking the Nuga uh, touch of peace mm. to mm. every dignitary you can think of. And I think for us as an association, as a game that we're trying to get back into the consciousness of people, mm. Lagos could not have been a better place. Hmm. Well, just for the records, we're into the uh, cowbell evaporated milk part of the show. All right. Uh, yes, our friends at Cowbell um, from Macedo, Nigeria Limited, uh, well, bringing you this part of Game On Show. So, yeah, uh, we'll be talking about some exciting things they've got to share with you listening to us at this moment. We'll share that with you in a moment, but uh, just uh, have that at the back of your mind. Uh, well, 7.45 to 8 p.m. Uh, yes, our friends, uh, Cowbell Evaporated Milk. We'll be talking about that product uh, brought to you by Promacido Nigeria Limited. Uh, well, Chidi, before I let you go, um, quickly, just um, talk about the sports that will be on show. Um, what sports are we should we be looking forward to? Um, how many? Um, what are they? Can you list them? And also... I was I was going to ask that are we going to watch you know these students via probably social media streaming? What's the plan for social media for media generally, especially coverage? Uh, well, let's start with coverage because I'm pretty excited this evening. We just signed a very fantastic deal that will be that will be made known to the public in a few days mm. uh, with a live stream company. Mm. So on YouTube, on your social media. The Nuga TV, mm. the games will be live stream. We will live stream as many games as possible. Uh, for the games to be played, uh, there are 17 sports and then boxing mm. as a display sport. Wow. Like, uh, so um, football, handball, the ball games. Basically. Yeah, yeah, the uh, ball games. Tennis, mm. uh, taekwondo, mm. karate, judo. Mm. Uh, Scrabble, cricket. Interesting. And uh, how about rugby? Yeah, <laughs> no, ru- not rugby yet. Not All rugby right. Yet. All we're right. Hoping, we're hoping to involve that. That group. soon. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I think that's fair enough. Uh, let's let's look forward to it. Uh, hopefully, you'll be in Lagos soon, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, once you're in Lagos, please, um, I mean, it would be nice to have your life in the studio so we can talk more about this and, uh, well, count down to the big one uh, to go down right there at the University of Lagos. Big shout out to the University of Lagos. Big shout out to the students. Um, I know there'll be lots of volunteers who will be uh, devoting their time to ensure this is a success. Chidi, thank you so very much for your time. Uh, you. We'll thank stay in touch. Me. All right. Have yourself a wonderful day. All right, bye. All right, talking about cowbell evaporated milk. Well, it's one for champions, really. So um, let's uh, bring you good news. Well, my name is Anthony The Voice, and uh, we've got something amazing for you this Valentine season. Now, are you a lover of milk? I mean, everyone should be especially when it's rich in calcium helps you with strong bones right do you need something healthy creamy and nutritious to add to your tea coffee cereal and any meal of your choice Um, one that you can share with your loved ones then i have got a good news for you cowbell evaporated milk has been carefully formulated to deliver that great taste and consumer experience just for you uh, yeah, so it is so creamy, so good. It is nutritious and affordable, enriched with Vita Rich, a blend of vitamins and minerals for strong body and healthy growth. Cowbell evaporated milk is also low in cholesterol and fully endorsed by the Nutritional Society of Nigeria. Now, If you add cowbell evaporated milk to your tea, pap, cereal, ice cream, smoothies, buffet and all the meals, you get creamy taste and you get healthy nutrition. So, join me 
as I enjoy my creamy and nutritious cowbell evaporated milk this Valentine season. It is so creamy, so good. Now, it's currently available in stores or retail outlets near you. All right, to learn more about Cowbell Evaporated Milk, follow at Cowbell Milk on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, at Cowbell Milk, uh, C O W B E L L M I L K on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be a part of something special, Cowbell Milk. All right, let's uh, quickly get a word from our friends at uh, Promocido Nigeria Limited. as old as um, i don't know david <laughs> i mean really really familiar sound for so many years Consistent. yes you know Kaba is a story brand <laughs> yeah and so uh, well they are talking some ab- really really memorable ads yeah over the years i tell you yeah, memorable ads oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it was really memorable. You associate this with with some of yeah. So yeah, it, it happy is moments of absolutely it. happy moments and uh, well, uh, cowbell evaporated milk. Um, yes, I mean it's set to deliver you not just a creamy taste, uh, but also healthy nutrition, and we want. Um, our listener to be healthy we want you to have strong bones we want you uh, to be really really healthy and uh, yeah there you go cowbell evaporated milk uh, from our friends at Promacida Nigeria Limited they uh, bring you this 15 minutes um, yes part of the show uh, probably brought to you by them all right we'll get back to that in a moment but uh, very quickly let's just uh, bring you a quick information um talking about the super eagles now very quickly uh the confederation of african football on monday informed uh the nff that the super eagles will now take on ghana's black stars on a new date yes and somebody is asking oh okay okay are you talking about the world cup qualifiers yes that's what i'm talking (coughs) about and uh uh well there is a new date it does appear uh for that one uh, well, this was also disclosed in a statement that the 2022 FIFA World Cup playoff round fixture between Nigeria and Ghana would not hold on the earlier date. Um, they were earlier scheduled to hold on March 24th and March 27th. Uh, the opening leg of the fixture at the Cape Coast Stadium will now take place uh, on March 25th. All right, starting from 7.30 p.m. Ghana time. And uh, which will be 8.30 uh, p.m. in Nigeria. The return leg match will now hold at the Moshu Biola National Stadium in Abuja on March 29th. All right, starting from 6 p.m. Nigerian time. And uh, that was Kotsi Ademola Olaju, NFF's Director of Communications, uh, in a statement. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a... Uh, a shift in the uh, well, time now it's um, 29th all right um yeah so uh, we're going to be looking forward to that one formerly 24th and 27th but now march 25th and march 29th all right and don't forget uh the second leg will be held right there at uh, the moshuda biola national stadium in abuja and uh big shout out to the super falcons who um, launched that stadium in terms of uh, after its um, renovation, especially well, giving when you look uh, at the national teams across board, uh, they won that game against Cote d'Ivoire to go to Neo. So yeah, big shout out to them, um, and uh, hopefully the Super Eagles can go there and well make it their their home 
uh, Trust Ekong was talking about the need uh, for the NFF to provide a very good playing tough. I don't know if you saw that game. I don't know what you make of that tough. Uh, the uh, I don't know. No, the, I, the, I, I, did, I didn't see the game. but The you know, Super it, Falcons could have a game? The, yeah. Yeah, the relaunching mm, game. Mm. No, I didn't see well, it. Um, but um, it's a good... It, it's, it's, it's relaunching season in Africa because mm. coincidentally, the Senegalese are also doing the same thing. Mm. So a new stadium has just been built and um, the home leg mm. for the Egypt matchup is going to be yeah. happening there. So um, there's a good wave blowing across across um across the continent all right uh, don't forget this part of the show is brought to you by our friends at promacida nigeria limited and the good news is cowbell evaporated milk Such of unity and the conversation is that um, Unilag would hopefully uh, provide us with um, a stellar competition um, one that will produce fine young stars young talent across the country well talking about uh, our friends at Promacido Nigeria limited cowbell evaporated milk we've got something amazing for you this Valentine's season it's a season of love February right and uh, are you a love of milk everyone should be you know um but you, do you need something healthy creamy and nutritious well to add to your tea your coffee cereal and any meal of your choice that you can share with your loved ones then i've got a great news for you cowbell evaporated milk has been carefully formulated all right um yeah it has been carefully form for formulated uh, with um, creamy taste, uh, healthy nutrition, and uh, the right consumer experience just for you. It is so creamy, so good. It is nutritious and affordable, and also enriched with VitaRich, uh, which is a blend of vitamins and minerals for strong body and healthy growth. Uh, Cowbell Evaporated Milk is also low in cholesterol and fully endorsed by the nutritional society of nigeria you can add cowbell milk to your tea pap cereal ice creams smoothies parfait and other meals uh just to get the creamy taste and of course uh, healthy nutrition so join me as i enjoy my creamy and nutritious cowbell evaporated milk this valentine season it is so creamy so good and it's currently available in stores or retail outlets near you. All right. So you can, of course, assess that whenever you want to. So to learn more about Cowbell Evaporated Milk, follow at Cowbell Milk yeah, on Facebook news. and uh, Instagram and Twitter. All right. Uh, to learn more about Cowbell Evaporated Milk, follow at Cowbell on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Cowbell is at c o w b e l l all right m i l k at cowbell milk on facebook and instagram uh, not forgetting twitter yes twitter is back <laughs> uh, so you can actually don't whisper it don't <laughs> don't whisper it everybody know, right? knows it twitter well, is back don't i barely I, back. I, I, I barely see you on on that platform why what's going on Perhaps because I don't follow you and you don't follow me. Really now? Yes. Why? I, I I'd rather not follow you. 
<laughs> I don't know. All why, you do why, is yeah. all you do is talk to women. <laughs> Alright, big shout out to our friends of Promacid and Nigerian Limited. Uh, yes, makers of Cowbell Evaporated Milk. And uh, they're telling you to go out there and uh, be a part of something special. Alright, let's switch away this time. Well, we'll be getting to the phone lines in a bit. All right. I know you'll be probably itching to talk. Uh, the Nuga conversation I was talking about rep your school, your university. I don't know the university you went to, but I proudly, University of Ibadan, the premier university. Mm. Aluta Continua. <laughs> Victoria Asata. Yes. And for the records, of course, the maiden edition of, of Nuga Games uh, back in 66 was hosted by the University of Ibadan. And then the University of Lagos hosted in 68. And since then, they went on to host four times, three times. Uh, this will make it the fourth time. So, yeah, you can call us. Tell us the school you will be rooting for. I told you, U- University of Portacot, Uniport. Yes, um, they have won the last three. That's cool. They've got the fire, especially when it comes to sport. Yes, they do. My mom is a product of that school. And she, <laughs> always, she always talks about it. She always talks about Uniport. Uh, there's there's a slogan they have. Okay, yes, unique Uniport. That's their slogan. Unique port. Unique Uniport. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, this time, let's switch away. Let's uh, bring you something more feisty. Oh, this is for those who have got a heart. It's Tyson Fury against Dillian White. <laughs> the mandatory challenger. The WBC Champion. A heavyweight showdown. Clash of the Brits. How do warriors prepare for war? I'm um, masturbating seven times a day. I keep having to fight these donkeys over and over again. Tell them why it's a sausage, to be honest. Tyson Fury against Dillian White is an all British heavyweight championship fight for the world title. It's a tremendous fight. You've seen some of the guys with knockout, guys that doesn't get knocked out. Oh, that's good night! I'll take care of Dylan White and I'll knock him out within six rounds. This guy just talks shit, man. Tyson Fury talks shit. I wanna slap him in his ball, dead. Slap him in his ball, dead and say, shut up. To put the hurt on him from as quick as possible. He keeps going on about fighting this and calling me a coward and whatever. Let's see who's a coward. We'll see who's a coward. I'm no coward. You're a shit house. I'll put it on you in a boxing gym and you shake yourself. Yeah? So we'll see who's a coward in a way. Um, Dylan White is a heavy bag on legs. I punched his head in for him plenty of times in the gym. When I first came to the sky, a lot of the people in the sky didn't believe in me. They just think, oh yeah, it's just a routine opponent for, for Anthony Joshua. I just want to fight the best people. Whoever is the best people, whether the fans want me to fight, whether the fans think I should fight, then just want to fight. This year, the fight is on. The Gypsy King. Versus the Body Snatcher. Let's go! 2022. The world will be watching. All right, there you go. The fun starts now. Well, finally, this is done and dusted. Well, contracts have finally been finalized, signed and lodged uh, to the WBC in the closing hours of uh, yesterday. All right, so yeah, um, that big news came through yesterday. If you remember, uh, we've been talking about the possibility of this fight and then, well, it's been dragging, especially in terms of the uh post share uh and yeah and also D- dillian white have got some legal battles you know with the wbc and all of that but i tell you from a reliable source that this one will go down april 23rd is the day marked for tyson fury to defend his wbc belt the mandatory challenger uh talking about dillian white finally gets a shot all right at the world title in over four years so this is huge it is massive it is big and uh, to be honest i mean conversations on the way as regards this 
uh, what you make of this. I was I was reading something from uh, Tommy Fury, uh, one of the folks of uh, Tyson Fury, saying this will be one of the easiest fights. Um, <laughs> uh, just for the records, the winner of Fury versus White could then revive hopes of an undisputed world title fight this year. Uh, with Oleskander Usyk set to defend his WBA, IBF and WBO world belt against Anthony Joshua. Uh, White had previously told Sky Sports that he was not concerned about the date and venue of the Fury fight. Just to quote him, wherever they won the fight, whenever they won the fight, I don't care. I've been trying to fight him for a long time. I've been ready to fight him for a long time and I just want to fight him for the world title now. So, what do you make of this one? Uh, David, quickly, this, this, this is huge. But uh, in terms of the, the expectations, um, how do you feel about this? In, in the context of, of what we've heard, well, it, it's huge, yes. It's a huge matchup. Um, being that it's um, Tyson Fury's first fight at home in, what, three years? Three, almost four years now you know he hasn't fought fought at home in 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 on the british isles since 2018 i'm sure now i i i know most people will probably be favoring of course the big man tyson fury himself do you know run away with this one but mm. then dylan white is not no push for himself you mm. know he's 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 mm. he's, he's had to beat uh, my alexander Povetkin. Mm. he's very last matchup and I, I believe the last time he lost was to our very own anthony joshua uh, almost six years ago so he's six is this six seven yeah this is 2022 yeah. so that's seven years ago it's been a long time 34 years old definitely in his prime as a boxer so it will be a very very interesting you know boxers going on and what 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 they what they like to call um i i don't want to use the word is it, um sparring with yeah, words yeah yeah and you know it's very interesting here in tyson fury the guy is just an entertainer with his words man mm. but you know i i i expect i expect something beautiful at the wembley stadium it's 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 a lot of money on offer too you know not mm. the biggest i've seen but mm. you know still a lot of money and, and tyson fury will walk away with 80 percent of that money. yeah 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 absolutely delicious uh just for the records he's still on beating uh talking yeah, about definitely. fury and uh well, this is uh, a huge opportunity for Dillian White to have a yeah. bite at the cherry. He Clearly hit big scalp. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, I mean, both, both, both boxers uh, were sparring partners one time yeah. in the past. Yeah. Uh, and Dillian White would always brag that uh, he knocked him out uh, while, while sparring. <laughs> sparring. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but there is some real bad blood. Talk to us, people. What do you make of this one? Do you think um that uh this will be a very easy very easy bout for tyson fury or do you think we're in for something really shocking 0700 993 993 993 all right 0700 993 993 993 talk to us what do you make of uh this big news tyson fury and Dillian White finally confirmed. You can also share with us talking about uh, on um, our WhatsApp portal 0809-597-58005. Sorry, uh, 0809-597-5805. All right, that's our WhatsApp portal. What do you make of this bout? Do you think Tyson Fury is walking on eggshells? Do you think Dillian White could show the world I'm here? Or something they call him the body snatcher hmm interesting it's now the right time. Yeah, yeah. 